Good morning, or evening, depending where you are in the world, everybody. Welcome to Sapporo. Look at the mountain range. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. The scene, of course, is from my hotel room. And today, we're going to be heading over there. We're going to catch the ropeway and go to the top of the mountain. So I thought uh, for today's not-so-live stream, you can uh, just simply come with me. As we make our way there, got the Google Maps thing happening, and uh, this will hopefully take us there to the ropeway. This is going to be a two-part special, uh, not so live stream. One today, one tomorrow. So join us on both days. We're going to catch uh, some public transport now. Head on out to the ropeway. Then tomorrow's stream, we're uh, going to catch the ropeway up to the top of the mountain, so that will be pretty cool. Now I went outside uh, just before to get my uh, morning cup of coffee and it looked like there had been quite a fair bit of snow last night, so I'm pretty sure you'll think it's spectacular when we get out there. Now when you do watch uh, this not so live stream, hopefully I will be in the chat, but I can't guarantee I will be because uh, I'm going to be on a ferry somewhere in Japan uh, filming. I'm going to be doing a couple of videos for the channel. I'm going to be doing some not so live streams from the ferry. Um, and I'm also going to be making a proper video, edited video for the channel as well. So they will be coming up in due course when I get internet connection. I'm not quite sure when that's going to be. So uh, if, if I'm not in the chat, I'm sorry, I'm with you in spirit, and certainly our moderator, hopefully, will be here, helping you out. Alright, so we've got the Google Maps happening. When I first started using Google Maps, because I'm, uh, believe it or not, still very old school. I don't know why I'm saying believe it or not, you know I'm very old school. Uh, when I first started using Google Maps, I had no idea how to operate it. Um, because every time I would look at the map, I'd be walking in the wrong direction. So I'd turn around and try to walk the other way and walk in the wrong direction again. I had no idea how to turn the maps around or, or organize anything with the Google Maps. And so much so even today, I don't know if you can see that, it's exactly the same. Um, whoops, I'm not fully sure how to operate it. It's slippery out here today. You see, it's been snowing really heavy. Kind man with his machinery making the paths a lot safer, a lot less slippery. Thank you very much. Cleaning the snow away. I was saying the snow's beautiful here on the, the stream the other day when the blue sky was out. When it's overcast like today, it's just magnificent. Beautiful when the sun's out. Magnificent when it's overcast. Not quite sure how that works. But we are heading to the tram. So even though there's nothing coming, here in Japan you just don't jaywalk, it just doesn't happen. So going to wait for the lights, there's a tram! We could possibly catch that one. Move the cam up a little bit, just a little bit. Move it up a little bit more. Here we go, we've got a green light now. The tram is uh, slower than, uh, than you think because of all the traffic lights and everything. So there is a pretty good chance if we don't slip over and walk a little bit faster than normal that we might possibly be able to get that tram. But if not, it doesn't matter. There'll always be another one. It's just starting to snow. The footpaths are very slippery. When I used to work for the trams in Melbourne, people used to be so upset when they missed a tram. The other one was already in sight. The trams in Melbourne travel so close to one another. And you say to them, just relax. There'll be another tram soon. You won't be waiting too long. And, uh, yeah, that wasn't the best thing to say to people. <laughs> like, no, I want the tram now. I'm at the tram stop. I want the tram now. Wow, the mountain's going to be spectacular today, if it's still snowing when I get up there. 
Hopefully the sky will stay nice and clear so there's a, a good view from up there. Okay, now we're gonna find tramps up. There's that tram. We've got a green light. We could possibly do this. If he gets a red light here, after we cross, I reckon we can make it to that tram stop. You can see the tram stop there. And I hope uh, you loved the Chocolate Factory stream yesterday. When I watch it back, I of course watch it back before I put it online just to make sure that it's filmed okay and uh, you know the quality's okay and everything. I reckon that was the best not live stream that that I've done so far. Mainly because it had chocolate in it. And that hot chocolate was so amazing. So hot and creamy. Oh no, here's the tram. Should we run? Let's run. Stay with me, Gimbal. Is it bouncy? Is it too bouncy? I don't know. Yay! We're gonna make it. The lights are changing. Are we gonna make it? They've just turned red. We made it! Woohoo! Is it the same tram we caught yesterday? It could well be. Now I'm not sure, was it Trevor? The grizzled at me for talking on the tram the other day? I'm not quite sure. You aren't, you aren't supposed to talk on the public transport here. You're supposed to stay nice and quiet and, and polite and all, but uh, I was whispering, I was being really quiet. I think they forgive me anyway because I'm a tourist.
of that trans that noise and compressor that's uh, giving us the air that's allowing us to stop. The, uh, I don't know. I can't uh, tilt the cam. I was going to show you the air gauge. That's all right. It's starting to come down heavy now, the snow. That, that real long Japanese message, surely they couldn't translate to just what we heard in English, surely not. But you can see that everything is in English over here, so if you do come, um, it's going to be pretty easy for you to figure it all out. The stops have Japanese and English written on them, everything's colour coded, number coded as well, so for example we just left stop 15, so we know the next stop is stop number 16. Could be what they call a whiteout today. It's starting to get heavier as the minutes are going along. We look at this window. Thank you. 
Was denn? Das ist auch. So we see family run business eh? Family baker. Look at the snow on the car. My goodness. That's how heavy it's snow. It's like a double decker car. The snow is flying towards the, uh, the window screen now. It's giving the appearance that it's actually coming through the window screen. It's better than real life. It's better than real virtual reality. A different view. We're almost at our stop. So from the hotel to the top of the mountain, it says that it would take. Approximately 35 minutes in total. As I mentioned, I'm going to break this up into two not so large streams, mainly because I'm going to be uh, away from any internet coverage, so stockpiling the episodes. Because I haven't seen much snow in my life. Um, so when I see a mountain like this with the snow on, it just looks amazing. I don't know if it's just this is how mountains look or if it's just unique to here. That's a tram depot. Should we get off and look at the tram depot? 
Let's get off, because we're only one stop away. And we've still got uh, a little bit to go on this particular street. Thank you. All right, let's, uh, let's watch the tram go to start with. And the tram you all talked about the other day. There it is. Remember in the earlier days of, of cameras and everything, you had to carry so much around with you. You had to carry around your normal camera, your video camera, battery packs, this, that and the other. The technology is just amazing in how it's so changed. Now, I don't need to carry a normal click-click camera around. I don't even need to carry my mobile phone around to take photos or anything. The quality of these videos that you can record these days from, from something so small is amazing. And you can just screenshot the particular photo you want, you, you, you want. So like that tram, I'm going to screenshot a picture of the tram when I get home and most probably blow it up and put it in a picture frame and it'll look really pretty. We'll wait for the tram to go and then we'll go over and look. I don't know how far we can get into the tram depot but we can certainly uh, show you some footage from there. as well um, which is very unusual for a tram system they've got uh, a couple of different sorts of pantographs that's a bendy bit that, that touches the wire uh, that, that gives the tram the electricity I noticed there's a couple of different sorts here um, they've got bow collectors they've got um, uh, the, the normal uh, pantographs and everything so the, the, the maintenance of it it's gonna cost them more to do that I'm not quite sure why why they haven't converted them all over but uh, I just thought I'd tell you that that's a bit of useless information for those uh, tram buffs. Well, we won't need to go into the tram depot as such. We, we'll be able to see from outside by the looks of it. Got the snow cleaning tram there. How good! No wonder the tram driver sounded so relaxed. Can you imagine arriving to work and this being your view every day? Ah, oh, here comes the snow tram. Not even going to uh, move from this particular point in which we are right now because we've got a fantastic shot of the uh, the mountain there and the snow tram and so as I say because the video quality is so good well at least for me I don't know what it's like once I upload it to uh, to YouTube if you like what you see if, if there's a, a particular frame you like just screenshot it I don't mind Like every tram system held up by traffic lights. Ah, it's coming back. Don't go back. As you're going back, we'll, we will cross the road now. That would have been such a good shot if it, if it was going where the mountain was. Let's see if I can be cheeky.
Who ever knew that you could trip over snow? <laughs> I'm so lucky with the uh, the Osmo Pocket and the gimbal that uh, you don't see me falling over all the time. Uh, trust me, it happens quite a lot. I'm just going to extend the, the, the rod a little bit. He's coming back. No, he's going back again. He's like playing a game with us, playing hide and seek. I'm coming out, peekaboo. No, I'm going back. Run. Run. I am, um, to be honest with you, I can't, I can't see now. The, the fence is higher than what I am. Run. Oh, he's coming out. Run. He's coming out. We've we got to rush. We've got to get this. Uh, we got to get this picture. Run. Run. The uh, the controller's telling him to Run. to continue on. Run. Run. Maybe he's just cleaning the depot. Yeah, he's just cleaning the depot. Wow, and uh, and I've just seen why he's cleaning the depot. If uh, if I scroll down there, I think you can see why. I don't know if you can get a uh, insulated tram from the the snow, because you would assume that the uh, the snow allows uh, the electricity to to keep conducting through itself. Um, but in saying that, I don't know, maybe a tram can, can derail with the thickness of the snow. Tram Central. Run. Run. For I know for a fact Run. that uh, the All Abroad Channel, Run. not so live stream, is the only not so live stream on the internet that you're going to see uh, with this happening today. Run. You're not going to see it on any other channel today. Run. You're only going to see it on my channel. So, uh, you should feel privileged. Oh, look at it spin at the front. Wow. Tram down there, hiding away. I don't want to play with anyone, I want to hide in the corner. Well there you go, that, that was worth hanging around for, wasn't it? Now I was watching the uh, the other uh, live streams as I mentioned, and the chats, and I noticed I mentioned that uh, that Patreon name a, a, a few too many times, but yeah, I don't realise at the uh, at the time I'm I'm saying the things over and over again. So I promise I won't be bombarding you as much with mentioning it, but I do have to mention it right now because I got to welcome Pauline. Our latest member to Patreon. Thank you very much, Pauline, for joining the uh, the Patreon community. Um, Patre uh, Pauline joined the uh, the five dollar tier. In fact, it, there's all different tiers you can join, um, depending on your budget and, and what you can afford. Some are some are cheaper, 
some are more expensive. Um, Pauline is on the, the, the five dollar tier, uh, but there's a, a dollar tier, and for a dollar, it unlocks all the bonus content. And these uh, not so live streams that I'm doing at the moment is taking us to this uh, magnificent mountain. How good does that street look? And look how much snow there is here. So it is taking us to the uh, the, the mountain, two part special. Today we're, we're going to the bottom of the mountain. Tomorrow we'll catch the Skyway up the mountain. And then, just for the Patreon people that have joined, even for a dollar you'll get to see this. You will get to see then uh, the, the view and everything from at the top of the mountain. So it's something really worth uh, joining for. And we're going to have giveaways in time. In, in time, I'm going to arrange some giveaways on there and uh, and some competitions and polls and live chats. Going to do some live chats on there. Uh, and I mean real live chats. Not these, you know, pretend live things. They're going to be real live chats once we get enough people there. So uh, join the community from only a dollar. I promise I will not mention it again until the end of this live stream when I'll remind you all again just for the the sake of annoyance and reminding you these streets look uh, spectacular don't they can you imagine living somewhere like here and seeing this every morning the the beautiful beautiful trees with the snow on them and that mountain I dare say I dare say I don't even know if I, where, <laughs> where I'm going at the moment, but, but I dare say in, in, the, in the summer, when we come back, it's going to look completely different because all those trees are going to have the magnificent leaves on them. So it'll just be a beautiful green mountain. It has snowed so much out here. I wonder if uh, when they built the tram depot that they... That they thought about building it there. I'm assuming, and I could be wrong. Uh, I'm I'm wrong about most things, <laughs> but I'm assuming that uh, in, in my city we always say that it always rains heavier near the mountains because the the, the rain comes over the mountains and the, the different climate and that makes it rain heavier. I'm assuming it snows heavier right here at the base of the mountain uh, as well which would pose a bigger problem for the tram. I'm guessing, I don't know. So I wonder if maybe when they were planning to build it, they, they uh, it, it was summer, and they said, oh, look, let's build a tram depot. Where will we build it? Oh, here. And then winter came along and they said, oh, why did we build it here? Look at the snow. So much snow, so much ice. Speaking of so much snow, so much ice, um, this, this here is about half of my height. Obviously a church there. Put the camera up just that little bit. <laughs> I, I just saw that out the glimpse of my eye and most probably most probably wrong on this one as well, but when I when I saw it then at the glimpse of my eye, you know what I thought of? I thought of a TV show. Can you think of what TV show I was thinking of? What famous house from what famous TV show? Can you guess? It's an American TV show. It is sad enough. Here's a story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. Reminded me of the Brady Bunch house for some reason. Does it remind anyone else of the Brady Bunch house? It's a church, but it look just the roof of it and that looks like the, the Brady Bunch house. How spectacular is that? Wow, a bit too high with the cam. It's so hard to control the camera with uh, with the gloves on. So I know uh, when we do come back in the in the summer, we're gonna have camera control people. Camera control, it'll be it'll be no more of this. You know what he's saying? He's going, that pesky tram cleaning away snow. Why aren't I cleaning away snow? I'm the tractor, I'm the snow tractor. Trams are old. 
What do people want to clean snow with trams? I'm gonna race down there to the tram depot and beat it. Do its job for him. That's what it said. I know that's what it said. I can read its mind. I can read tractors' minds. It's uh, one of the specialties uh, that I, I have in life, one of the skills I have, uh, where I can't read uh, anyone else's mind or anything else, but a tractor, a snow tractor, I kid you not, I know exactly what it's thinking. And that's what it was thinking. Are you sure when I, when I go home they're going to put me in that little white jacket and, and the whole works, but, uh, but yeah, I hear voices. This snow is taller than me. I kind of sort of know where I am. I've only been out here once, and it was a year ago. Um, but I've always been pretty good with uh, re remembering things. I'm rotten with names. I, I said this the other day, I'm absolutely rotten with names. Um, so if I mention your name, especially in chat, like so many times, a million times, there is a reason for it. It's for me trying to remember you, and eventually I will. Um, but I'm so bad. But places, I can go to once, not pay much attention to it at all, and then go back a year later and I go, oh yeah, yeah, this is all familiar, I know where I'm going. And that's what it's like now. I know exactly where we're going. We're going to go up here, sort of like halfway, and then I'm going to turn left. And then I'm going to walk up the steepest hill. I remember now the steepest hill, and I'm going to be really out of breath. And it'll take us to the uh, the bottom of the ropeway, which uh, I've never understood with these ropeways as well. That the idea of the ropeway is it's to take you up a hill. Yet. You've always got to walk up a hill to get to the ropeway. I don't understand. Make the ropeway go an extra 100 metres or 200 metres and build it like here, where it's level. Then take us up the hill. But no, every ropeway in the world that I know of always starts with a with a really big walk. And maybe it's uh, maybe it's done like that so that uh, so that you go. This is all the power supplied for the ropeway. So you go, okay, look, I appreciate now why there is a ropeway. I've had to walk a hundred meters myself. Or it could be a marketing thing as well. Maybe, maybe they go, well, look, if we build it here, no one's going to catch it because they think they can walk up the mountain. So we'll do it a hundred meters up the, the most steepest hill. People will walk that hundred meters and go, oh, I'm so tired. I'll catch the ropeway. I'll pay anything. How much do you want me to pay? I'll pay it, I don't care. I'll pay a billion dollars, just get me on that ropeway. See, it's 150 meters, but get ready for this hill. This hill I know is not going to show uh, for you on the camera as how steep it is, but trust me. Oh, already my legs are hurting. It's so steep. I'm, I'm literally walking slow, not because I'm slipping or anything, it's because it is so steep, it's using every bit of energy to, to push my body up these hills, up this hill. Here's a man doing a really good job. Good job! <laughs> Excellent job! <laughs> And if you see the hill, the mountain, on the uh, the right hand side to me, it doesn't look very tall. It, it looks like, oh yeah, I can walk that in a couple of minutes. It's actually taller, it's, uh, it's deceiving. I think you go up like that one little hill and then there's a bigger hill behind that hill and then there's a bigger hill behind that hill. Some of the times when I use words as well, I get them slightly wrong, but you'll understand what I mean. I'll say we when I mean I, uh, I've always referred to me as a we, not an I. Oh, this hill's a killer. Um, I also refer uh, to mountains sometimes as hills because in in Australia, in, in Perth especially, we don't have hills 
Uh, no, we don't have mountains, we've got hills. Um, so I get the words mixed up every now and again, but you see it, you know, you know what I mean. There is another reason why I thought I would break this up into two not so live streams, it's because when I get to the top of the hill, I'm gonna have to sit down and get my breath back. And you don't need to see on a uh, not so live stream me sitting there forever and a day trying to get my breath back. And if you think, if you think this is the steepest bit, oh no, it's not, I tell you. This is not the steepest bit we're gonna walk. This is just like the, wow, look, it's turning into a whiteout right in front of our eyes. Um, they sort of do this to you to, to say, hey, look, this is gonna be steep, you do wanna catch the ropeway. But then to get up to the ropeway, which I don't know if you could see through the snow on the right hand side here. There's this little, little hill, this little slope. And it goes for about, I don't know, 20 meters, 30 meters. And <laughs> it's not, but it feels like it's 90 degrees. Shoot the bursts. I've never been a big fan of, of buses. I'm into public transport and everything. As you know, I love trains, I love trams. But buses don't really do it for me. There are some that I find are, are really cool. Uh, certainly over here in the Asian countries, uh, they got some pretty cool buses, only because of the size of them. They're, uh, some of the buses are, oh, there's foxes here. Some of the buses are ginormous, and because of it, uh, you've got to appreciate it. You go, wow, that's amazing. And some of the buses here, <laughs> some of the buses here, in fact, have beds in them and capsules. There's a capsule hotel in a bus here. How crazy is that? So those sort of buses I like. The, the normal buses in my country and uh, in, in certain parts of the world, it's just like, yeah. But trains and trams... Always got to like them, no matter what condition they are, or whatever. We like the tram. See the taxis, they are expensive, but they're always so immaculately clean. And and the driver, I didn't catch the driver then, but the drivers have, you know, the gloves on their hands. And, uh, you know, you feel like you're hopping in a limousine rather than a... Oh, here comes the tourist bus. We'll let these people go first, hey? See, like, that that bus doesn't do it for me. It's, um... It's just like a bit of aluminium on wheels. It's got no shape, it's got no character, it's got no class to it. Uh, whereas a tram and a train has... Um, I think every train has a, has a personality, every train's got a, a look about it. We're going to take inside. Believe it or not, this uh, not so quite live stream has almost ended. This uh, this bus, by the way, is a free bus. Um, a bonus point or mention from the moderator, if you could tell me what character that is on the front of the bus. Come on, you should know he's a he's kind of a famous uh, character. And the moderator, because I won't be here most probably as I was with you for this not so live stream, the moderator's even gonna tell you what that character's name is. If the moderator's here, I don't think the moderator's here. Anyway, uh, we're inside now in the nice, warm uh, ropeway depot, stand, whatever you wanna call it. The view that we're gonna get is gonna be like this. Um, there's dining up there, there's all sorts of stuff up there. There's only a couple of minutes to go on this not so live stream. That's why I thought I'll just keep talking here for the moment, wait for these people to go up in the lift. Um, and then I'll end this one and start a new one. But to get up there as well, we've got to um, 
we're going to go up two forms of, of ropeway. I'll turn the camera in, in fact, you don't need to see me. So we've got the well, cable car, as I know it as, or gondola in some parts of the world. And then that'll take us up, and then we swap over to the funicular railway, which will take us um, then up to the top of the mountain. So it's going to be a good trip. That's in the next Not Live stream. Here's another little map here of where we are, what's going on. So if you can see uh, number one, that's where we are. I'm assuming we get to number two, that's where we change to the funicular. And then number three will be at the top of the mountain. Before you go upstairs, have and get your ticket. They've got the vending machines happening. Hot drinks, hot drinks are in the red. Always remember that when you come here. Hot drinks are in the red, cold drinks uh, in the blue. They should have, and they do... They got the corn soup, the hot corn soup, highly recommended. They got another one there, what's this one? It just looks like a hot tea maybe. But the, the hot soup, the corn soup, it's pretty damn fine. Uh, you got this Coke here, this Coca-Cola, when you get it and you turn the lid, it freezes, it automatically freezes, turns into a slushy. Then they have uh, promotions, uh, the new flavoured drinks that's happening, the peach. Oh, their peach drinks are so good. Their peaches are just beautiful here. And then you've got the variety of uh, hot teas and coffees. And uh, all the coffee, as mentioned, uh, basically a, a tin full of uh, boiling water and sugar with a little, 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 <laughs> little, 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 little bit of instant coffee in it. So it's a, bit, uh, it's a bit of a shock to drink. When you first arrive here, you go, oh, God. The coffee's not very good, but uh, but then after you've had a, a couple of them, you get really, really addicted to it. So uh, try the coffee, try the bad coffee. When you don't like it, keep trying it, and you will get used to it. Okay, we're about to go up in the lift. I was just waiting for the people to go here. Uh, you've got the sanitizer for your hand if you want, but over here you've got the stamps as well. And these are everywhere in Japan. They're pretty cool. Uh, if you want a souvenir, if you've got no money for souvenirs or anything, you can, you can get yourself a, a piece of paper. Everywhere you go has, uh, has a stamp. Let's open the stamp pad. You put the stamp in there. And then you uh, put, make sure it's around the right way. That's around the right way. Can we see? Can we see? Uh, push really hard. There you go. And look, you got a souvenir. Where is it? You got a souvenir from um, where we are. Which is pretty cool. It's the, it's the little things like that which uh, mean not much to a lot of people. Um, where are we? Where are we? Um, but <laughs> it's just something like that. It costs them hardly anything to do, but it just makes you feel that little bit special and, and a little bit nicer. Um, that, that you're getting something. Most of you would end up throwing it away, but you feel good just by getting something. And, and these things are all over Japan just to make you feel happy and, and nice as if you're getting something. Even at the train station, there'll be signs in the windows that'll just have inspirational messages or just say to you, hey, look, smile. You know, um, enjoy your day, have a good day. Everything's just so positive here. It's just amazing. The ropeway has already departed. Oops. Please got a, uh, for the next ropeway. Got a minute or so until this not so live stream ends. So I'll just give you a shot out the window now. Pretty, hey. And this is where the next not live stream is going to start from. So you've got to come back tomorrow, same time, same place. Smash that like button, hit that like button, press that like button. Do whatever you want to do with that like button. And uh, don't forget, get all your friends to join the channel, please. Or to watch the video, share the video around. Get them to subscribe. Click on the notification tab so you know when we're coming on live. It's going to be roughly the same time every day, hopefully. Uh, join the Patreon, only one dollar. Patreon.com forward slash all abroad. Any questions that you have for future videos, leave in the comment box below and I'll address them or answer them in the next video rather than me 